Meteorologist Natalie Ferrari joining us now at Nightside. And you're keeping an eye on the tropics. Nothing to worry about, but it's just something you're, you're keeping an eye out for. Yeah, us. absolutely, Carolina. And there's a lot that's still up in the air because we don't officially have a closed low. We don't actually have anything organized in the tropics. Basically, what we have is this disorganized, very broad circulation just a few hundred miles east of the Lesser Antilles. That energy is basically getting wrapped up in a lot of Saharan dust. So over the next couple of days, no chance of development. But the National Hurricane Center is keeping a close eye on it because by the end of the weekend, maybe even into early next week, that energy will be somewhere in here. And this is where the atmosphere will be a little bit more conducive for tropical development. Let me show you what that could potentially look like. This is one model and this is one run and it's our European model continuing to drive it through the northern leeward Island, uh, rather the greater Antilles and the northern leeward islands through the rest of the week and into this upcoming weekend. But look, I'm stopping this on Saturday. We still don't have a closed low. We still don't have anything that's organized out to our east. But the European has been consistent with wanting to have this curve as it tries to develop east of Florida, maybe going into Sunday, possibly even on Monday. So it's going to be at the end of the weekend. That would keep us here on West Central Florida on the dry side, especially as that energy then pulls up to the north and to the northeast by early next week. The GFS model, another model we've been keeping a very close eye on, doesn't even really have anything trying to form. If anything, it just brings a swath of tropical moisture, which allows us to have more rain chances going into the weekend. So we basically would need to be a little further along in the process to know exactly where this thing's going to go. It's just still too soon to tell, but it's something we're keeping our close eye on. And if it were, if it were this weekend to turn into a tropical storm, the next name on the list is Debbie. We'll, we, are, we are your hurricane headquarters. We'll be keeping you basically up to date all through the next several days. If